What do you see here is the Fujitsu. This is my most hated computer, but I gotta say, for the last two years, this has been going straight without a problem. But before that, it had problems in all kind of different ways. As you might can see by this really fucked up case is, it was a laptop. It was a Fujitsu Siemens V5535. Now it is just a custom kind of put together thing. <laughs> The display on this died a long time ago, that was, I have no idea why, it just showed some lines and died. Uh, same with one RAM stick and the wireless. Now, the rest of this has go, been going fine. The microphone has some problems, it sometimes decides to work and not. The speakers don't work, so I actually removed them. When USB has problems, uh, but yeah, I gotta say, it's not a wonder what happened to this computer is every computer's hell or nightmare. But it still runs. It's supposed to be still running. The touchpad was very gently removed. Here it started to burn. Um, and uh, yeah, but it's still working. It should be a still fully functional computer. Now let's take a look under the hood here. It's got an Intel Celeron processor, 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. Here is that stupid cooler that sometimes just decides to give up. So I actually gotta look for a replace. I have, I believe, two that will fit in here. And in here should be a 120 gig hard drive. And that thing should be running Windows XP. Now here is where the wireless should have gone. I removed it also. Well, it was not working. And here is a connector for the display, which is also gone. And a battery, of course, you can expect. That lasted like five minutes and then it went out of charge. So I also removed it. Oh well. Oh, which way does it go this way? I don't even bother unscrewing this in because it doesn't even work all the way. There we go. <laughs> Now this is indeed a fucked up computer. I have no idea. Yeah, there is saw the optical drive falling out. Gotta be a little more careful because that needs to work. <laughs> Here you go, it's a DVD drive. Well, I can get a, another one of those anywhere, but still. And I would have to wait and I don't want to wait again. Make this video. So what was that about to say? I forgot. Yeah, now I remember. I have no idea how much this is worth. It could be worth 10 bucks, 5 bucks. I have no idea. It's not a fast computer. It never was. It always was a lower class. It's out of plastic. Now the case is all ripped apart. It is unreliable. Some I.O. doesn't work. Doesn't have wireless. Blah, 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 etc, etc. So, if I would sell this, I should just give it away for free. Because... Really, if you want to have money for this, you gotta be crazy. Now let's go over the I.O. It got here the power, which I still gotta search for, the power supply. A VGA, which hopefully works, because it's the only source of connecting to a TV or monitor. Always I had it hooked up to a TV, but yeah, whatever. Here we got the Ethernet and expansion card slot with, with a soft gun uh, bullet stuck inside of there. As you can see, the BB stuck in there. We got here sound, three USBs, which one of them doesn't really work. This one, I believe. The optical drive, and that's about it. Here, I don't know what should have been here, but here's nothing. Now, here's the power button. And, uh, yeah. Let's see if it still fires up. So, it's all wired up. I just found this no-name Chinese power supply. Hopefully it still works. I don't see why not. Um, here is the VGA hooked up. Headphone jack hooked up to speakers. And uh, yeah, also USB mouse and keyboard. Now let's see if it does something. That sounds good. It sends a signal. It does. Yeah, here we go. So, 
that phone is gonna annoy the speakers a little bit but all I want to know is if it does uh, have still working headphone jacks because if not I will not bother about uh, well searching drivers in Windows 8 which we're about to install here we go Windows XP booting up and because this operating system is out of support well what are we going to do put the latest and greatest on it this Windows copy must be activated. You want to activate it now? No, I don't want to. Oh shit, hopefully I'm even gonna get it. Oh. Now I hope that's a driver now. That still loads. Because I cannot move the mouse. Or I just plugged it in at the one that doesn't work. Or does it? Yeah, it does. Okay. No, I don't want to activate Windows. Let's see. Oh, come on. Please let me go into this stupid account. Ah, uh, come on. Did not play the Windows XP chime. Uh. <laughs> yeah. That is not good. Maybe the volume is mu muted, but yeah, I highly doubt so. Well, I can't. I, I cannot activate it. I don't have internet. Yeah, whatever. XP is gonna go from here anyway, so we don't have to bother about this anymore. Luckily, because we are using here Windows 8 Pro, the 32-bit. Because even though this computer is 64-bit, I highly do not recommend using 64-bit since. The RAM is just too low. It has only 1.5 gigs. So let's put in there Windows 8, shall we? It still meets the requirements, so I even had Windows 8 running on this, but only the consumer preview. That ran pretty shitty, but yeah, it's, it was a preview and there weren't any drivers for the computer, so yeah, let's reboot and uh Boot into Windows 8, the old new Metro thing. It's not all new anymore, it's actually there since 2012, so yeah. I really I hope the, the optical drive still functions. I mean, it appears to be. CD ROM, yeah. That's looking good, at least sounding good. Yeah, here we go. It is booting. Holy crap, it is booting. And now let, let me get through the setup process and then I'll be back. F, that thing went through the booting process in a rather good time. Now, I really hope I don't run into any complications since I really do not want to spend any money on fixing this thing. But most of the stuff if something craps out, I can repair it. So I have it, some parts that should work with this computer. And here we go. That took forever to be honest. I was really stuck. I thought it was stuck on the expanding part, but no, it did go through, but it took some time. Now here it is. We got an internet connection because of a stick that we had Hook it up to a USB. Now let's see if it works. Yeah. It looks like connected. Good. Let's go into Internet Exploder. The graphics look mint, right? <laughs> yeah, it works. Okay, now it works. Now let's see how the drivers look like. This is not 8.1, this is just 8. Celebron, 1.86 gigahertz. 1 gigabyte, 1.5 gigs of RAM and 125 gigs usable. Yeah, the 32-bit version is way better on here. 
Now it looks like it did install everything, but I highly doubt that the sound is gonna work. And yeah, monitor looks well. That needs some updating. But it looks to me that the graphics are working. Just as it says Microsoft Basic Display thingy, but they don't look wrong to me. I mean, you can move the window without going crazy. But it's not the official driver, so maybe it finds another one. Usually the the, the video driver is the first one that it's looking for. So yeah, if this is not the right driver and it doesn't find one, I might have to look online and install it. Okay, so right now it's installing unbelievable 96 updates. So probably when this is downloaded after... I think half an hour then it's gonna install at least for two hours since again this computer is not fast and BAM this is a lot of stuff well uh, kind of the right Windows key doesn't work no it does just lagged here we go we got Windows 8 not the official latest version since the official latest version is 8.1 but well, you get the idea, the latest version of Windows running on that piece of junk that somehow still works <laughs> after it's, uh, you know, being abused and stuff. Whatever. Here you see it running, the legit proof that this is still functioning, so. Yeah. See you next time and maybe I'll make another video about this pile of rubbish here and until it's you know before it's finally dead so <laughs> yeah see ya guys